Hi everyone, and welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the question that I get asked the most. So let's play that introduction and get right into it. So the question I get asked the most is, what theme and where can I get it? So that's what we're going to talk about today. I've set my theme to kind of the default here. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to GitHub and specifically I'm going to go to the Dracula Game Maker Studio here. And this link will be in the description below. What we want to do is come over to the releases and there's only one release. So let's go ahead and download that zip file. Now, the next thing we need to do is locate where our installation of Game Maker Studio is. Now, by default, it is in a special folder called Program Data. And in here, we are going to look for Game Maker Studio 2. And then within this folder, we have a Skins folder. Now, I already have Dracula in here, so I will right click and just make a new folder. And I'll just call this Mickey. And then I will open up that zip file that I downloaded. And in here, you can see that we have the master. So I'm going to go in one and basically take everything. Uh, you can include or exclude the GitHub files. It does not really matter. We're going to drag and drop them into here. So once everything is in there, let's go ahead and restart the IDE. Now with the IDE restarted, let's go up to file preferences and it will expand general settings. And now you can see that we have an IDE skin. If we pull down, you can see that we have that new folder that we created. If I click on that folder and I say apply, I'm gonna say okay to restart the IDE once again. And then once this loads up, you can see we already have that nice effect. So we have those uh, colors and everything in there. Now, the only other thing that I am doing differently here is if I go back to my preferences and what I'm going to be looking for is text editors, the code editor, and then default you can see that I'm using space mono as my font and you can grab that from the description below as well so one of the differences that I have when my version versus this is if I go to edit image and we have two tools here we have the remove and then the replace color to me those icons are super similar so what I've done is I've just edited the icon so that it's something different and that's it. So that is how to install a theme and how to get the theme that I am using. Like I said, it is a open source theme. So big shout out to all of the contributors found on the GitHub page. And you can find everything in the description below. Thanks again. Thank you for watching the video. A special shout out to those on Patreon in no particular order. Victor, Ashby, Texman, Paul, Mary, Robert, River, Game Maker Community, Timothy, Mark, and David. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out my Patreon site, which can be found in the description below. Thanks again.